Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com with the advent of the new Canon M50, that new mirrorless, that new really good looking mirrorless, and I've got it coming in for review. I'm very excited to get it in, get my hands on it, start playing with it. Uh, but a lot of people are asking about what to buy now. Like there's still the DSLRs in the lineups. There's the 80D, the 70-70, d there's the T7, there's the SL2, which I really liked the SL2 when I had it here in for review. But now we've got this M50, which is complicating the decision, if you will. We just looked at 10 reasons to buy the M50 over the 80D. However, there still are some reasons to buy the 80D over the M50. I've gone through the specs and I see five major reasons why, maybe not major, but five reasons why someone may want or choose the 80D, possibly at a better price with refurbs and availability in the used market, but they may choose to purchase it over the M50. First up, longer battery life. We've got uh, a bigger, stronger battery in the ADD. 960 rated shots versus 235 on the M50. For some people, this is going to be very significant. It may for you, it may not. You can get aftermarket batteries at a very reasonable price, such as the Wasabi uh, batteries that I'm a, a big fan of. Uh, a couple of those in a dual charger is about $22. So, kind of offsets it for me, but some people don't like to have to switch batteries, so that longer battery life may do it for some people in the ADD. Next up, the top deck display. The ADD has a top deck display, the Canon M50 does not. For some people, that is just a familiar way of shooting to be able to look down and see that top deck display, read that information on the top, and they're used to having it and it's not something they're going to want to give up. It may be a deal killer or it may just be a minor inconvenience combined with some other things that still pushes you towards an ADD. The headphone jack on the ADD could be a really big thing for some people. I get around it in other ways. Uh, I often am piping my audio into a Zoom, usually my H4, in which case I can run headphones off of that. So the lack of a headphone jack in the camera, not so much an issue for me, but for a lot of people who shoot video, especially if you're doing run and gun video, the lack of a headphone jack may be an issue, and that may push you to the ADD over the M50. Then we have the shot buffer. Both JPEG and RAW shot buffers are better on the ADD. We've got a 53 JPEG shot buffer versus 33 on the M50. So the ADD wins with the 53. With the ADD and RAW, we've got a 24 shot buffer and a 10 shot buffer on the M50. So deeper, bigger shot buffers, both in JPEG and RAW. For some people, especially if you're a high frames per second shooter, this may be an issue for you and it may push you towards the ADD, especially combined with the other points. Lastly, we've got a faster shutter on the ADD. The ability to shoot at one eight thousandth of a second versus one four thousandth of a second on the M50. And again, for some lighting situations, especially if you're working with bright light outside, um, that may be something that is a deal killer for you on the M50 and pushes you towards the ADD. Combine all these five points together and it may be a total deal killer for you. Maybe not. Either way, those are the five tech points, the five strengths of the ADD that it has over the M50, if you will, and maybe points, maybe one may be a big sticking point or altogether becomes something that pushes you to the ADD over the M50. Things you want to consider anyways before you buy the M50 because they may be things that you'll really miss and would have preferred an ADD. But I want to throw it back to you guys. First of all, have I missed something on the ADD that you think is a strength that it has over the M50? If so, let me know in the comments below. And what would you do? In light of the strengths of the ADD over the M50, are you still someone that would buy the newer M50? Or do you think you'd rather possibly save a little money and buy the uh, older but still good performing ADD? Let me know in the comments below. Curious to see where you guys are at, uh, where our viewers are at on which camera here they like better. Obviously, the M50 is much newer. It does have the 4K video and it has quite a few other advantages as we went through in the 10 points. However, there are some strengths still to the ADD, and it's still a rock-solid camera. And as I said, available probably at a better price now, uh, especially that considering there may be a 90D on the horizon. Let me know what you guys would do and why. Leave it in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.